Yo, people, welcome back to the road to 300 pounds, day 21. What is the way in there? 327.6. I'm going to talk about this in the next segment. I'm post recording this bit. So, food today was exactly the same as yesterday. I eat my meals. Well, I eat two big meals because I like big meals. That's pretty much the reason why. Yes, they are quite big, but I don't really care because it helps me stick to the plan. And that's what's the main thing. So, 1,722 calories. I'll catch you in a sec. Morning also, 327 something, I've already forgotten, but I don't care about the, the minute detail. So 329 yesterday, 327 today, to be expected. Obviously, the weight went up because I ate more food. It's not fat, sodium, carbohydrates, leads to body weight, more food in general, eating later, scale goes up. And now I'm going to be in my steep, steep calorie deficit for the next few days. Scale weight's going to go down. So we should, in theory, and I believe we will, have a low weigh in this week. So yesterday, was th uh, yesterday last week, it was 324.2, I believe, the lowest weigh-in. I'm looking forward to seeing 323 this week. So over the next few days, we're going to see the scale weight go down. Obviously, there's likely going to be the odd fluctuation because human body does what the human body's going to do. But in theory, scale weight going down. And this as well, I don't want to be married to the scale and the numbers on the scale. Being in this deep calorie deficit for the next few days it's going to be burning off body fat we're going to be burning body fat even if the scale doesn't reflect that that is an absolute that is an absolute so just saying for your own journeys don't get too married to the scale because if you know you're in that deficit and you actually are in that deficit and sticking to that deficit you're going to lose body fat and then if you're lifting weights and whatever and you haven't been doing that before this isn't related to me but maybe on your journeys i'm just giving you that peace of mind again the scale doesn't always reflect the work you're putting in. I know I keep banging on about it, and I know it's probably annoying, but just want to hammer home that point. But I, I, I'll stop talking about the scale. So um, it's quite early in the morning, actually. It's just before 5 a.m. 5 a.m. wake up on my list normally, but because of the clock's changed, I'm still used to getting up at 5, which means that's now 4 for me in the UK. So I'm just naturally waking up around, well, about quarter past 4, which is fair enough. I've slept enough because I go to bed early, so I can get up and out. So what's next? Obviously, to go for my walk, the morning walk, get the steps in. It's not a crazy, crazy long walk, about 25 minutes, half an hour, get around three and a bit thousand steps, just shy of 4,000 there. So that's all good. Bang that out's first thing. Work on my two channels. And then food-wise, I've shown it before, but instead of eat carnivores, just stick to the plan. So the plan is grinds for the next few days eat at maintenance over the weekend, grind, maintenance, grind, maintenance, grind, maintenance. So we're going to pull off this body fat, baby. We're in the fat loss business, not the weight loss. No, weight loss is the generic term to use. So that's why I always say it. But in my mind, fat loss, pulling off body fat. That's what we're going to do, baby. And looking forward to seeing these results, sticking to the plan, feeling in a good place mentally, especially having a few days off over the weekend. Relax. And that's time to get in. Failed my last, my last bit. Now it's time to put the work. So I'll see you in the next bit, peeps. Push-ups in a bit. Post-walk.